John Termal at the Hemp Expo with Sean Maloney here. Sean's story is that he's a medical user and he just got an exemption signed by a doctor for 18 grams, but he's from Montreal. But while he was in Ottawa, he got stopped by the OPP. They caught him with 500 and something grams, 32 days worth of medicine. And last Friday, he was convicted and sentenced by Judge Bordalo in Lorignan near Hawkesbury, sentenced to 30 days in jail on weekends, intermittent. So he has to travel from Montreal every Friday night, go back every Sunday night. He's got two kids to take care of, part-time job he's trying to keep. He's got to take drug rehab. So anyway, I heard about it and I said, we're going to see if we can't get him sprung. So this morning he filed a notice of appeal, which is, you know, because the law was dead, he was busted while the exemption was invalid. And uh, as well, he filed a motion for a stay of his sentence pending his appeal. So this morning we got Justice uh, Cronk, a nice lady, and she must have been touched her heart with his story. And the Crown Attorney, even Nick Devlin, who we've had in a couple of other cases, came Very in. Very nice guy. Came in with my with my case from 2003, and then with Real Martinez's case, ready to fight. And then Sean sat down and explained his predicament and the heartache and the pain. Finally, he said, "Well, look at." You, we're not going to say you have any merit with the conviction appeal, but the appeal for the sentence is being too harsh. We grant may have some merit, so we consent to the release pending the appeal. Thank you from the Crown Attorney Nick Devlin. And so basically they came back and found it, well, you can't stay a sentence, but you can grant bail. So they granted him bail with no conditions, no money. So we're over at the Justice of the Peace office across the street, and uh, the Justice of the Peace comes out and says, oh, there's no money on the undertaking. And we said, that's right, there's no money. And then he went, yeah, but this says there's no money on the undertaking. And we said, yeah, because it's zero. Well, he went back in, and Sean went later and asked him and said, hey, well, what's wrong? He said, we've never seen anything like this before. 35 years, never seen something like that. Wow, 35 years he's never seen anybody release with no cash before on just an undertaking. So anyway, Sean took a gamble, took a short notice motion, got a great judge, got a great crown, and got a little bit of justice out of the Canadian justice system. No more jail, he can take care of his family, he can keep his job, and nothing comes up. And We got until November to finish the appeal. So, overall, it was a wonderful day for us. Yes, it was, but like, honestly, if I had to say something to anybody out there, is, you know, don't plead guilty, don't fall into the lawyer trap. Get to know your rights, get to know what's going on and the laws because, you know, I was told otherwise, I was told, you know, go with the lawyer approach, I did that, I lost a lot of money, I got screwed in the end, you know, it took me coming here on just, you know, talking to John and believing in actually what you can do and feeling violated and feeling like, you know, your rights, you've been wrong, you know, you're getting pushed, taken advantage of. And people go through this every day and it's got to stop. So all you have to do is get the documents online. It's very simple, you know. You just have to push back when you're getting pushed. I mean, uh, John, John, John told me what the document was. I had a hard time at first, but he'll walk you through it, you know. I went through the steps, we went to the right places, got the right form signed. This is all this is all within not even two hours. Like we even met I think a bit late this morning, so we're even more yeah. pressured for time. I was, getting, yeah, was, I was getting changed in the front seat of his car while he was turning the corner and people were watching. But like look, I'm not going to jail today. I get to come to this nice expo. They don't even have this in Montreal. And tomorrow I get to go home with my kids and uh, my wife. I don't have to spend three days in jail again. And every weekend go back and get taken advantage of by the system. So I get to fight back in front of three judges. And if that one judge decides that, I'm sure I can convince two out of the three judges that, you know, I've been wrong and I will get my stuff back. And I'll make an example and you guys can all, you know, try it. There's nothing to lose. Take the sentence. What, I would have done 20 days out of 30 and that would have been it. It would have been done. But Judge Bordelow told me my condition makes me, like, 
not exempted, had nothing to do with marijuana. I'm a category one, 18 grams per day. His lawyer didn't even introduce the fact that his doctor had signed an MMAR exemption form. But it's okay because the transcript is going to come out when we go to what, Superior Court, right? We're court of Appeal now. Well, there you go. And Highest Court of Ontario. See, they're going to see what he said. Now, whether or not, you know, it just goes to show how the system is. If, if you don't look into it, I mean, John gives you all, all the, the cases with precedents are all there. All you have to do is inform yourself about it, and, and it makes sense. And if they don't want to fight back, you know, because you have a good story, you could be just like me. But it just takes to do But it. it's better to start fighting back before you're convicted, because if they I find waited, out... I waited, I played the lawyer game. I know, but... So it, that's what if, you shouldn't do either. If they find out that you know the law's been dead for the last eight years, and you're going to claim the Godet Goody, they very often withdraw the charges. But if you don't find out the law is dead and you make that argument, oh, they're going to find you a lawyer to help plead you guilty, like him. Yeah, my, so anyway. my, my lawyer was joking with the Crown like while I was weighing my verdict. It just goes to show how the system is. They, she wouldn't introduce my forms into, into the case. Instead, she, she suggested that I get a pre-sentencing report, you know? So there is the order from the Ontario Court of Appeal, this highest court of Ontario. Red. Nice stamp. Very a red nice stamp, stamp, usually. Yeah. And this is the order that released him from jail so that he doesn't have to go back. And I bet you they never send him back. They're, even if they do uphold his conviction, they are going to drop the jail, I would bet, when he's appealing his sentence. So, Sean, thanks for having the balls to stand up there and go in front of the thanks, judge. Thanks and, for helping me, and John. And we'll see you when the appeal takes place within six months, I bet. That was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. I'll post this on the internet tonight.